What's happening guys? Blankin here and welcome back to another episode of Bleak Faith Forsaken. So yeah, we as you guys can see are not against the big worm. I hope that you guys had fun taking a look at my suffering on the previous episode. So I thought that I had done something wrong on this game and that well, honestly speaking, I thought that I had messed up the wrong because everything was way too difficult. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Turns out that I do not belong at all to that area just like I thought, so I decided that, well, we'll have another episode trying to showcase that area a little bit better. Instead, we decided to come back to the central hub or block, and then right following the path, I already discovered where to go. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't recording, like I forgot to hit the record button, so I missed it out. So we're just gonna be walking that way and showing you guys exactly where to go. These enemies are actually gonna be pretty simple to defeat. So nothing that I'm worried about. First of all, you wanna get here. Once you're in this area, you wanna go to the right and you wanna go straight. That's all you wanna do. You see that big boy over there? Oh my God, I didn't notice him before. That's kinda creepy and scary if I gotta be honest. Hello? Wait, what are you doing in here? Since when, since when are you in here? Uh, honestly speaking, we don't want to mess with that thing. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to mess with him. You guys remember this section? This is where the knights are. Well, we're not supposed to come in here. <laughs> I pressed the wrong... I, we went to the wrong place. That giant over there, he's not supposed to be in there. Touch that thing. Just keep moving. Be happy. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a shiny. I'm sorry, guys. We saw the shiny. We have to grab it. We're actually going to go this path. We're going to be following those stairs. Um, Just like I mentioned, I already know where to go. We could even teleport there if we want to. But I don't... I, I don't know if some of you guys might be playing along with me. Then I want to make sure that you guys know where am I going and how did I reach those areas. Hello. Nice, sayonara went flying. Maybe you can call it home run. <laughs> Look, there's another one of these go bastards. This one didn't go flying because he this one didn't jump. And there will be a couple of enemies too, or right. Honestly speaking, you just want to kill this guy, and then after he's dead. After he says, now we just gotta explore the area, if that makes any sense. Ooh, that, these things, whenever they show up. Oh, it's kind of creepy. There is something in there that is... That I didn't grab before. I kind of... Can I, can I, it's kind of interesting how some things they just hide around. But anyways. By the way, I want to remind you guys, if you guys are having fun and you guys are enjoying these episodes, don't forget to leave a like. It will help me out a lot. Oh! And subscribe to the channel to catch up with more bitch yeah yeah go for it go for it go for them go for them do it i want that i want that i want that give me that can, can you drop it i don't know if that's a drop or something the the crossbow that they have but hey something is for sure we have two arrows right there three arrows jesus christ that's hit pretty hard anyways you want to go upstairs and i believe that this is it I think that this is exactly where you need to go. Um, yep, this is it. This is the tunnels. So there are... Yeah, so there's multiple... As you guys kind of have learned during this game, there are multiple paths to reach multiple areas. And for that same reason, um, you might end up like... We, we ended up fighting some bosses and we ended up getting to some locations that... Or like the, the, the mechanical place. I said, oh, this place looks too difficult. Or this place looks really strong for me. Well, as a matter of fact, the place was a little bit stronger than it should have been. I should have been somewhere else. But, well, <laughs> sometimes it gets dark. I'm sorry. But I guess I guess I got to give them credit for that. It's pretty nice that you can actually go whatever you want. Because it allows you to approach the game differently. Um, I also learned that yes, there are some enemies that are extremely difficult, but it's 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 like you you will you shouldn't find yourself ever in a position where you're super stuck. Like most of the times, as long as you explore, you go back and explore different areas, you should be able to find your way back to to somewhere safe. Now here we can climb our stairs, and we should be 
after we climb this, it's gonna be 100% um, new territory for me. I haven't explored anything. I just found the homunculi upstairs and then that's it. Oh well, and I kill an enemy, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, now that we have... Oh, I got scared of that homunculi. I forgot that he was right there. Oh. Anyways, we got him. Enemy to the right and then we are blind one more time. There's an item here at the back that you can grab by the way. Hey, piece of piece of enemy, where you at? Where you at? Ugly piece of Sonova insect! Making some weird sounds, thinking he's too much. You think you're a big shot? Well no, you're not. Anyways, what else we have going on in here? Absolutely nothing. Ooh, emptiness. Ah, ah, I don't know about you guys, but this place, this place is called the sewers. So I think upper sewers, I'm not sure. But ooh, look at all of this poop. Wait, are you telling me that we cannot go to this section? I think what? Wait, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure that you can go through that section. I believe there must be an option to crouch, and that's why we are not able to do it. All right, so with C, you can crouch and then that's exactly how you do to actually walk this area we didn't i don't know if we actually learned how to crouch before but then we we never actually did it so i didn't know how to do it some of the invisible enemies are here and we have something that is probably gonna try to kill me which is fine i mean i don't know if you're on top or where you are but hey 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 hello yo 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 take it easy That was a little bit too much. That period was nice, but ooh. The amount of ooh, walk along. The amount of hits that they took on me were were, were pretty crazy. Uh, that's for a different area, okay. Why is this place so nasty? What the fuck? Oh yeah, those things. Who gonna come? Somebody wants. Oh hello! Look at that, you ugly motherfucker! Oh, you want some of my action? Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. When I say if you want some of my action, I really meant if you wanted to be my friend, okay? I didn't mean that you needed to fight me. Uh, we got a new recipe and we got a ring of the blessed hand. This thing is too fast, but they are weak as fuck. As long as we can one shot them, everything is okay. Hey, you! Come here, puppy! There's gonna be another one coming my way, yes? Uh, there's more. I can I can hear them. But I do not know where they are. So they're gonna show up. They're probably gonna scare the heck out of me every single time. But at this point, you guys know me. I just... I just... I hear something. That's what I mean. And there's a hole over there. I really oh there you go goodies what the heck man take it easy something about these areas always creeps me out and it is the fact that you never know where the enemies are and you can hear them that's really creepy all the time Did you just touch me I don't want to imagine how difficult this whole thing would be if I was to play this game in like a, I don't know, like if this game, if, the, if 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 I was to play this game without like a nice set or if I was trying to do this section earlier, it would absolutely destroy me. Okay, where are we going? Ooh. Okay, we gotta be careful because those magics can kill you. Like you guys know it, you guys have seen it before. My armor has literally pretty much no defense against magic, so you could die pretty easily. There are some stairs. 
That's exactly where we want to get. We want to get to those stairs. We don't want to touch that. You never know. And look at that. Ooh, give me that. Ranger shoulder pads. Let's check it out. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger stock. So it's a medium armor. Uh, it, it might be pretty sick. It might be pretty sick looking, but... And it increases your strength, so it's pretty cool if you want to equip something medium. We, By the way, we have something called the Citadel Defender set. Pretty sick. Once we're able to improve it, then we're probably going to go for it. Uh, other than that, we got a new ring, which is increasing your attack power. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, we might consider that for later. And let's see our weapons just to see if there's something new. This, this weapon looks sick. The scimitar. Mmm. Spicy. Can I see all the weapons? Yeah. So, nothing, nothing out of this. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a staff. Okay. Another staff. Okay. And the bow. Fine. I want to know from you guys. What do you guys think so far of this, uh, of, of, of this game? I know that it's, it's, I know it's buggy. Oh, hello. No, no. No, 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 no. What the heck? That piece of shit! Who? Oh my god! And there's another one. I know the game has its bugs and everything. Um, but honestly speaking, once you kind of like overcome the bugs, you kind of... I mean, the game is fun, let's be honest. There is a lot of wonkiness. And there is a bunch of bugs that, honestly speaking, you could argue that they're unforgivable. Like, a lot of people would have dropped the ball by now and just stopped playing the game. Trust me, I thought of it more than once. But the, 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 the sheer fact of the, the, the concept of the game is actually quite cool. And the whole open world, maybe they could have gotten away with something a little bit smaller, but... Uh, I, 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 just, I just think that the, the overall experience is quite fun, and that's the main reason why I, I've kind of like come back to like keep playing the game instead of just stop playing it and that's it. It's like, not only that, I'm, I'm also playing it for you guys, right? So that kind of like helps out. Yep, goodbye. Ah, uh, I don't want to go there. Yeah, why not? This poop. We already, at this point, we're already used to touching poop. Metal arrows and flesh. I would have liked for you to give me the crossbow that you were using. We keep seeing people with that, but it doesn't drop. I don't know if it is a drop, so it doesn't matter. It's a pretty hefty rain. I think at this point, it's a good place for a homunculi, just in case. Aha, uh -huh, that piece of enemy. You guys saw it over there? The, gay, the homunculi was like, no, no, no. Uh, wait, I know you don't want hostile enemies, but there is literally nothing. The homunculus is kind of like princessy. Oh my god, you know what? What about here? Right here, okay? There you go. Now you want to be my friend. Homunculus Mirage Gates. Let's go. I hope that's not too far away from what we need to do. Sometimes this game kind of like takes you to bosses. Uh, and they're kind of too far away from you. So you have to like make a big run. I've been thinking of changing weapon too, maybe to sword and shield, just to see how it works. Just to see if it can kind of be sexy. But the thing is that this weapon that we have is MK3. So the moment that we actually get another, the possibility or capability to change weapons, what the fuck, to MK3, then that's the moment where we're gonna start. Uh... What did we get from this? We got the Silot Helmet. Uh, Alright, let's check it out. That's When I have the capability of making out my weapons the same level, then I'll start doing some changes. Uh, it looks nice. It's a light armor. Let's see it to see how it looks. It looks pretty sick, I gotta be honest. Uh, I don't know if there's any perk to it, but it seems like there's none. But hey, it looks sick. I'll give you that. Which path do I want to follow? The creepy path to the left or the straight path to the ramp? I don't know, man. It honestly... Honest... Oh my god, you piece of enemy! 
Oh, we got something called Kanas. Kanas. Sounds cool. It seems like this one might take me to a shortcut. That's why I'm coming here. You definitely don't want to jump down, but we can pull this up. We can pull the lever, right? Is this gonna take me up or down? No, this is gonna take me down. I wonder why. And yeah, it seems like that's a shortcut because uh, you have all of this going on right here. And then you can go up or you can go to the other area. But yeah, this just keeps going. So let's let's check out the, the elevator and let's see where this is going to take me. Please don't be too scary. Uh, hello? Do you want a kiss? Oh, there is a homunculi in there. Um, okay, let's not kill it. Just because now we have enemy nervous before returning here. Really? Are you saying that I need to kill this thing? All right, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suffer my wrath. Oh shit, that thing. Uh, what about now? Yep, we recovered the homunculus mirage and we could actually go up. Now, I am not sure we're not going to be touching it because I don't want to teleport. We're going to be going back to where we were and then we'll come back in here. That's actually pretty interesting. We got a nice homunculus right there. We can take a look. What did we get? Did we get? We got something cool called these things, the cannons. Do a will. And we also got a 200 pretty sick weapon, an MK3-2, having a passive called Critical Strike and a bunch of empty slots. Uh, is my weapon... What is this? Heavy shield. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. So what we have right now is the Sharp 200 with two incredible abilities. And then in the backpack, we have the Evolve Halberd, which is pretty same damage, MK3, pretty sick. And we also have this one, the Lacerators. It's MK0 has less damage than this thing. Let's see how it looks. It looks absolutely insane. We're gonna test it out for a second. It has no powers and it's a halberd, so that's pretty cool. Let's check it out for a second. And well, if we die, we can uh, need to go back to our previous weapon. The one that destroys everything. Oh, hello, did you miss me? Yeah, it definitely missed me. We're gonna go that area. So let's explore whatever it was that we were gonna go to if we kinda like went straight instead of going up. What's this though? Oh, oh my god, you guys remember this guy? Oh wait, he doesn't he's not that strong anymore. Ah, well, honestly speaking, he's definitely stronger in the other area, but yeah, this is just an empty, I don't know. Maybe it was a tease, so you cannot like see what's gonna come for you, and you're like, oh yeah, I don't wanna go that way. And then you end up going anyways, and you get your ass clapped, that's fine. We can live with that. You know... So this is let's let's all be honest. We are all about AI and this whole situation with will the AI take over the world finally? And honestly speaking, that's the whole concept of this game. Like, let's be honest, man. We're just a piece of AI right now. We're literally a piece of AI going around the world that has been destroyed by creatures that were probably created by AI. That's all that I need to say, man. So if you're into that shit, just take a look at this game and you know what's waiting for you. Organic material. Okay, so I'm not sure where we're going, but this is the correct path, yes. And that's exactly where we kill the guy, I believe. Oh, hello. You wanna, you wanna say hello? What about you stop hitting me? Oh, wait, is that a, is that a... Yo, what is that? I'm not sure, but that weapon looks sick. You got some piece of sludge. You. Uh, it's something that I cannot get from here. But yeah, man. If you're into AI, 
If you're into AI needs to like uh, be stronger and uh, improve and take over the world, then man, this is you can play this game. This is exactly where we're gonna end up at that rate. Promise you guys that much. Uh, that's another lever. level. Lever. This one is gonna take me down. Or we could keep going up. Holy moly. Okay, let's see where this one is gonna take me. Just in case. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this one is taking me up too. Okay, can, can I just pull it? Okay, um, you know what? Let's go through those stairs. What the heck? Man, I want those items. Why are the items like I, that are hiding from me? No, that's that's not cool. I don't like that. Wait, can I keep going down? Um Hello. An amulet of health. Uh, let's check it out So we got a couple of them Max health points, so that's 50 This one actually gives me 50 too over here No, that's fine, 50, 20 There's a ring that gives me 50 I, I don't I guess I never got it And then this one that 5 of weapon damage as health So you heal like 5 per second That's not so good Unless you have a really fast weapon, that could be really sick Alright, I got the feeling that we're gonna end up going around here And we're gonna end up by that elevator So... Kudos Oh shit! So we got something called the glow bulb And I do not know That's probably just an item to craft shit, so... We'll be fine Yo, that's just a ghost And... What the fuck? Dude, we can go up or down. H how am I supposed to know if I want to go up or down? Hello. Listen. Listen, bro. I don't I don't have time for your bullshit, okay? Give me this. He didn't open any items. We got a copper. And I'm guessing that you could go there. You might you might you might be able to like cheese it. Like maybe you can kinda like jump and stay in there and then walk slowly and do some crazy like parkour and blah blah blah. We're not gonna try to do that. The game is enough, has enough bugs as, as it is as for us to have to like cheese some areas. That's extremely unnecessary. Hello there. And then we got that guy. Okay, stop it. Right, thank you. I kind of miss my previous weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Are there enemies coming my way? No? Okay, so far so good. We just keep going down. We just keep going down. Oh, maybe that upper section was open to... Ah, uh, hello. No, that's... that's no, 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 listen. Kind of rude for you to do what you just did. So you, you you go down for a second. We get our splinter and uh, yeah. Now we have another enemy. Th those are a little bit stronger, the robots. Definitely were a bigger challenge when we started the game. If you guys remember, they were making my life miserable. Not anymore. They used to one shot me. That's why my life was miserable. And then here you want to be careful. Look at this. Let's go. And we got Ring of... Excuse me. Let's check that out. Ring of Colossus. So what do you do? Extend my health? 10% plus 10% constitution. Yo, that looks so sick. So let's check it out right away. Look at us. We have a 625 health. If, 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 if we go ahead to our inventory and we remove the Ring of the Giant. What is it that you do? More strength. So if we return and we go and replace this for the Ring of the Colossus, which would be right hand, right? There you go. Then now we have 650. So an extra 25 health. We lose a little bit of strength. I guess that's fine. 25 is not that much anyways, but that's fine.
And you wait, did we do all of this just to grab that? An upgrading splinter? Are you kidding me? There is literally nowhere else for me to go. Uh, nope. So, okay. Uh, no, wait, there is more. Wait, you wanna save your weapon? And we wanna know exactly where we are. Give me that. Yep, so if I explore this correct way, where is this? Okay, yep. This is exactly like, what, like I was saying. If we go straight to that path, see that? We went all the way around. And we did all of that for a piece of inventory that we do not actually need. So, hey, it's okay. Oh my god, hello! Oh, that scared me big time. What happens if we pull this? Listen, man, I have no idea what the heck did I do, but I definitely did something and I didn't see what did I do. So I'm just going to say it. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below because I have no clue what I did. Anyways. Let's go here. I'm going to be pulling this lever. And then I'm going to be putting a homunculus in here because I think that... We've done plenty. You can always remove that homunculus. It was an upgrade. You can remove the Mirage. And then go back to any of the other saves. That's actually a pretty nice addition. It wasn't there when I started playing one of the updates and i think that's absolutely amazing it's fantastic i love it but yeah let's see let's see where we're gonna go if it is a boss fight then uh i will 100 percent showcase it if not then well i guess that we will probably be wrapping things up for the day because the sewers have been absolutely crazy long are you gonna come down there you go there you go oh no 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 don't go back it's kind of weird how physics works, like, you kind of, like, get stuck in the elevator. Okay, now everything became dark, that means that we're gonna go into a new section, I believe. Every single time that the game goes super dark, I believe that that just means new section. We will see. This just keeps going up. Hey, listen, I'm telling you straight up that this 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 area, uh, once again, creepy as heck. Uh, this is a one-handed sword, 50-50. Yeah, we're going to be equipping this in the secondary of hand. And then we're going to be equipping this in the secondary main hand. And then that's the best weapon that we have. Yeah, that's that's literally the... Wait, these are what? 200? Yeah, this is... This, uh, this, that's the best weapon that we have so far. Wait, wait, what is this? The blunt? Oh, that looks sick. I kind of like slash damage better though. Yeah, everything is pretty dark right now. Go all the way to the top. Let's see what happens. But I honestly believe that there is nothing. Wait, there you go. Are we going to keep going up? Yep. <laughs> Well, it seems like there are more things for us to do. So honestly speaking, we're going to be going here. And this is exactly what I'm going to be wrapping things up for uh, the day. Um, next episode, we're going to be doing all the climbing and stuff. And then, well, we will be pretty much seeing what's up there. This looks disgusting. But anyways, I hope that you guys had fun. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.